Here's how I went from running a gardening company, working to getting off the tools, to then completely changing up my career path and becoming a business strategist within marketing, making content. It all began, I started my garden company and my first introduction to that was pretty much couldn't find a job and started building this business in gardening based on my whole family had been fairly green fingered. I had vast experience digging holes and destroying the garden, so surely I can learn to look after them. And where I built that business, I quickly became absolutely infatuated with business. Building a business, scaling, understanding how to craft something out of completely nothing from scratch and build it into an organization that can run itself, sustain itself, and even scale itself. From that, I found that I've always had a creative flair. My education was in fine art. So we've taken a background of fine art, painting pictures, getting into gardening based on a family background of it. And then suddenly I thought, I'll start making content for my business. And that all started because of my passion and love for my business. It felt like my baby, I was growing it. And where I started to get the vans liveried, I had lovely uniform. I was very proud of it and excited about it. And therefore I wanted to be on camera with it to showcase it. The world is ever more digital and is getting that way more and more every year. I wanted to showcase that online as much as possible. How could I showcase my brand? That's where I started recording content. My first video, I just thought, what can I even make a video on? I've got this van, I wanna stand in front of it with my lovely polo on and talk. I'll just answer the questions that clients are asking me. And that's what I did. I just started doing that, going again and again with whatever questions I could think of that I could answer. And I just started uploading it on YouTube, using it on the socials, and thought, well, this is hel helpful for me. This is a, these are the questions that prospects are asking me. I'll just start to send them to prospects or clients to help answer their questions. And when it came to seasonal marketing, I would therefore do the same thing. I'm thinking of doing X, Y, Z this time of year. I'll make a video explaining the benefits and the cost implications, and I'll send that to my clients to explain it to them, answers most of their questions, and they can pretty much make a decision of whether they want us to do it or not. So it started to automate a lot of the sales process. It started to grow my business for me. I combined that with making content specifically for the staff I wanted, going into the vision, the mission, the culture of the business, the core values, what it all means and why it's helping us move forward, how we use that as a foundational layer in order to make decisions as we grow the company. That, combined with answering my clients' questions, started to craft an entire portfolio of content that would draw in the staff I wanted in the business and draw in the dream clients I wanted to work with. And combined, they even mashed up to help each other. Content I had that specifically helped or was specifically designed to drawing those dream team members was actually drawing in dream clients because they saw behind the scenes and got to have an understanding and a feel of what kind of team would be looking after their garden. And equally, having content designed to draw in my dream client would draw in team members because they saw what they could potentially be looking after, the types of gardens we looked after and the scale of the grounds we looked after. So fast forward that journey, I built the company and one of the biggest problems I had was managing people. I was a terrible manager. If I when I reflect back on it, I can see a lot of the mistakes I made and my focus was so long-term. I have an incredibly obsessive mindset and the way that I think can be quite intense a lot of the time. So in the short shortcomings of day-to-day -day activity, I'm quite difficult to deal with and that's something I've worked on or I'm working on. But what it meant was I needed an ops director and I struggled to find someone, looked at acquiring businesses, looked at partnering with someone, but it never worked out. But what it ended up happening within my garden company is I downscaled it and turned into more of a lifestyle business. I then had a lot of time freedom on my hands where I focused on my passions. I had a podcast, I was interviewing business owners, finding that a lot of people are quite nervous about being on camera. So I helped work with them to overcome that. I loved talking business with business owners. I consulted with a business to help them on their business plan and strategy. And so I had this highly profitable garden business. I was working on this podcast, I was helping talking business with business owners, and I thought, how can I bring all these things together, taking what I've got from my previous business experience? And the most valuable thing for me that I discovered was this content and how it helped me scale the business and find clarity and also help me communicate. There were so many facets within business that it helped, the marketing, the sales, the operations, the finance, it, Im it impacted all of them. And I thought, I would love it if a company existed, could come along and just dive into my brain, understand the ideas, and turn that into an entire portfolio of content. Use minimal of my time because I'm a busy business owner, I've got a lot to do, I'm trying to balance all these plates. Therefore, I'd love a company that could just come in, understand it, and get that information from me and turn it into content. So I made that company. That is Pink Panda. That is exactly what we do, and that's how I went from gardener, battling to get off the tools, kind of exiting a lot of that company so it runs itself now and then giving me the time to focus on being business strategy meets content. That's Pink Panda. So if your vision is getting off the tools, if it's stepping back from your company to see it run itself, if it's hitting that million pound revenue target, whatever the vision is, as long as you have that vision, we craft content to accelerate that.